The second Torah reading in this week's double Parsha Vayelech opens with Moshe's confession that he could no longer go on, even though Vayelech means to go on. I am now 120 years old, says Moshe. I can no longer be active. Fair enough. Rashi explains that this was his announcement that the end of their journey and the end of his days would coincide. Today, my days and my years become full. In the last chapter of Devarim of Deuteronomy, we are told outright that Moshe had his physical capabilities intact. His eyes were undimmed and his strength was undiminished. If Moshe was still sprightly, then why couldn't he continue leading? Rashi argues that Moshe was not permitted to continue. God had determined that the time had finally come. I've spoken to many people who completed terms as presidents, CEOs, or executive directors of organizations, and to lay leaders who have left their most senior positions. Some have described it as relief tinged with sadness. They got their lives back and the many hours a day they spent managing people and managing crises. But they also missed the excitement, the decision-making, and the people. They missed being needed or valued for their experience and expertise. Many felt hurt that they were rarely consulted for their knowledge and experience. In the CEO's Guide to Retirement, Bill George writes that it's important to know when to leave and how to plan for what's next. Finish strong and leave before you're asked to leave. Say meaningful goodbyes, make a clean break, and only come back when you are invited. Take a hiatus, he recommends, of six to 12 months to explore options before making new commitments. So. What have you done to show gratitude to a leader who has retired or finished a role? How can you continue learning from his or her wisdom?